Players formations plays. You've become so accustomed to it when we've done our chalk talks with the Seattle Seahawks. And the Seahawks were on a bye week, and I thought, oh, what the heck. How about a little Huskies chalk talk? The number five team in the country doing so many good things offensively. Got one of the best quarterbacks going right now in a Jake Brown. And they have a system at the collegiate level that has so many pro-style elements to it. And after putting 70 on the board against Oregon with 10 different touchdowns in a variety of different ways, well, I figured we could find one touchdown. And this was Browning's touchdown pass in the first half, 21 to nothing. This followed the Oregon fumble at the uh, Huskies' own five-yard line they recovered. They drive all the way to the 15-yard line of Oregon with nothing but run, a number of them a power variety, the big run by Gaskin that helped set this play up. This is second and 10 inside the red zone against the Ducks, as I said, up 21 to nothing. And Oregon at this point obviously pressing. Oregon feeling like they've got to do something defensively. And I hope as you watch these plays and you watch these games evolve, I hope you have learned one thing through Chalk Talk, and that is the tell that these safeties become, especially even more so at the collegiate level. With the wide hash marks, with so much space, these safeties are going to tell you more often than not exactly what's coming defensively. So down 21, second and 10, Brady Hoke and Oregon are thinking, man, I got to pressure. I got to create a negative play. I got to knock them out of field goal range. And a real credit once again to Jonathan Smith and his quarterback of having an awareness to take advantage of the opponent. So they come in a single safety look, actually a zero safety look. The safety is so cheated down before the snap. And zero safety should tell you what? It should tell you man pressure. It's what it told Jake Browning here. As all the Ducks defenders were up in press, which is a bad idea against John Ross, and I'll show you in a minute why. Uh, the other defenders are clearly in a man look. There's no safety. Uh, the Ducks end up bringing a, a double linebacker, kind of an A-gap, B-gap blitz here that the Huskies pick up beautifully. A six-man pressure, a six-man protection, and you are left with players, formations, plays. Player, John Ross, in space. Formation, get into a formation that helps diagnose that coverage, get them into four wide, spread the field so you can see what that safety is doing or the lack thereof, and then ultimately what play can you execute. And this is a play the Huskies are running an awful lot this season. You'll see it from a number of different formations. They love the underneath rub routes. You've got Pettis on an in cut. All those things are going on. But all the while, once Jake Browning saw zero safeties, his eyes had to light up. And he had to say, John Ross, you've got all of this field, my friend. You've got your 4-3 speed. You've got no safety. You've got a corner and press coverage. I don't care what you do. If you want to run a skinny post and beat him inside, if you want to keep it vertical, if you want to run your little banana post, whatever you're going to do, I'm going to make you right. And Jake Browning sure did. Put a ball right on the back end line. John Ross gets the one foot in. Players formations plays. Doesn't matter if it's the pro level. Here at the collegiate level, taking advantage of a blitz and making them pay. That's what the Huskies did all afternoon in their way to 70 big points.